I'll start by greeting you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I appreciate the hospitality of the Reverend Louis. He invited us to the dedication of this temple. But God has his time for everything. We wanted to be here, but the process took too long. So I said at the first occasion, I'll come here to greet the church. And your brothers in Congo greeted you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pour ce premier contact, for this first meeting, choisi le texte de Marc, chapitre 16, I took the text from Mark 16, et on va se lever pour prendre cette lecture. and we'll stand up to read. Nous allons lire dans Marc 16, depuis le verset 10 jusqu'au verset 20. We're in Mark 16, 10 to 20. Nous lisons cela au nom du Seigneur Jésus Christ. We read the name of Jesus Christ. En faisant confiance à toutes vos prières pour nous et pour cette réunion. Trusting in all your prayers that you gave for us in this service. Et elle alla emporter la nouvelle, c'est Marie de Magdala. Elle alla emporter la nouvelle à ceux qui avaient été avec lui et qui s'affligeaient et pleuraient. Quand ils entendirent qu'il vivait et qu'elle l'avait vu, ils n'écrirent point. Après cela, il apparut sur une autre forme à deux d'entre eux qui étaient en chemin pour aller à la campagne. Il revint à l'annoncer aux autres qu'ils ne l'écrirent point, qu'ils ne l'écrirent pas non plus. Enfin, il apparut aux onze pendant qu'ils étaient à table et il leur reprocha leur incrédulité et la dureté de leur cœur parce qu'ils n'avaient pas cru ce qu'il avait vu ressuscité. Puis il leur dit, allez par tout le monde et prêchez la bonne nouvelle à toute la création. Celui qui croira et qui sera sauvé sera, celui qui croira et sera baptisé sera sauvé, mais celui qui ne croira pas sera condamné. Voici les miracles qui accompagneront ceux qui auront cru. À mon nom, ils chasseront les démons. Ils parleront de nouvelles langues. Ils saisiront des serpents. S'ils boivent que le crépage mortel, il ne leur fera point de mal. Ils imposeront les mains aux malades et les malades seront guéris. Le Seigneur, après leur avoir parlé, fut enlevé au ciel et il s'assit à la droite de Dieu. Et ils s'en allèrent prêcher partout. Le Seigneur travaillait avec eux et confirmait la parole par les miracles qui l'accompagnaient. Amen. Amen. Que Dieu bénisse vous asseoir. May God bless you, may be seated. Nous voulons parler sur euh, la dernière volonté du Seigneur Jésus-Christ. We wanted to talk on the last will of the Lord Jesus Christ. Et naturellement, quand un homme est encore avec les gens, and actually when a man is still with people, il peut exprimer des volontés qui peuvent parfois être contestées, he can express wills that people can argue, ou remises en question, or people will question. Mais quand un homme exprime sa volonté et il part et il meurt, but when, when a man gives his will and then he dies, on appelle cela sa dernière volonté, we call that his last will. Et elle devient irrévocable parce qu'il n'est plus là pour qu'on puisse en débattre avec lui. And nobody can argue with him anymore. Mais si vous voulez parler sur la dernière volonté du Seigneur Jésus-Christ. So I wanted to talk on the last will of the Lord Jesus Christ. Et avant cela, je voudrais faire quelques petites que, que remarques sur euh, ce texte de Marc chapitre 16. And before that, I want to make a remark on Mark chapter 16. Ce dit de cette écriture, son importance. What Brother Anderson says about the importance of this scripture. Dans le message de la seconde venue. In the sermon, the second coming. Qu'il a prêché le 20 février 55. That he preached in 55. Frère Anderson parle de Marc 16 et il dit ceci. But Aaron says this. He dit maintenant. He says now. Aujourd'hui à mon humble avis. Today in my humble opinion. Ce passage des écritures que je viens de lire. This passage of scripture that I just read. Est l'un des messages les plus glorieux et les plus importants qui puisse être prêché aujourd'hui. It's one of the most greatest and essential messages I can preach today. Donc Marc 16 c'est l'un des messages les plus glorieux et les plus importants qui puisse être prêché aujourd'hui. So Mark 16 is one of the greatest and most essential messages that can be preached today. Il prend le même texte de Marc 16. He takes the same scripture of Mark 16. Dans le message de l'entretien sur l'œuvre missionnaire. And the sermon, the missionary trip. Et il dit ceci au point 23. And he says this. Il dit, c'est l'un des textes missionnaires 
les plus remarquables qu'on puisse prendre. It's one of the most remarkable missionary scriptures that we can take. Donc c'est un grand texte missionnaire. So it's a great missionary text. Et dans le message la grande commission. And the sermon the great commission. Qu'il prêche en 58. That he preached in 58. Il dit ceci. He says this. Au point 6 et au point 7. Paragraph 7. Il dit mais je voudrais lire juste une portion de sa parole. He said I would just like to read a portion of his word. Là où si nous n'avons rien d'autre que ceci, Where if we have nothing else but this, ce serait bien. It'll be good. Donc si nous n'avons que Marc 16 et on n'a pas une autre écriture, so if we only have Mark 16 and nothing si else, c'est tout ce que nous avons comme texte. If that's all we have as a text, Branham dit que ce serait bien. Brother Branham said it'll be all right. Il dit c'est dans la dernière commission de notre Seigneur. He says it's the last commission of our Lord. Il dit et les dernières volontés d'un homme devrait être quelque chose de suffisant. And a man's last will should be one that's sufficient. Amen. Amen. Ça devait être suffisant. It should be sufficient. Et voici ce qu'il a dit à son église. And here's what he told his church. Les dernières paroles quand il quittait le monde. When he was leaving the world. Ça se trouve dans Marc chapitre 16. His last words are in Mark 16. Amen. Amen. Il dit ceci est connu comme étant la grande commission. He says it's known as the great commission. C'était les dernières paroles de notre, que notre Seigneur Jésus a prononcé de ses propres lèvres. It was the last words that our Lord Jesus pronounced with his own lips. La première commission qu'il a, la première fois qu'il a envoyé ses disciples. The first time he sent out his disciples. Dans Matthieu 10. In Matthew 10. Nous voyons qu'il leur a donné une commission qui consistait à aller guérir les malades. We see he gave them a commission to go heal the sick. Purifier les lépreux. And purify the lepers. Ressusciter les morts. And resurrect the dead. Chasser les démons. And cast out Il a demons. Dit, vous avez reçu gratuitement. Donnez aussi gratuitement. He said he received freely, so give freely. Et la dernière commission qu'il a donnée. And the last commission that he gave. C'est d'aller dans le monde entier. To go into all the world. Et de continuer juste comme on l'avait fait la première fois. Just continue as they did at the first. C'est-à-dire guérir les malades. Heal the sick. Imposer les mains aux malades et chasser les démons. Lay hands on the sick and cast out devils. Et c'est un privilège pour moi, frère. And it's a privilege for me, brethren. Que de me tenir avec des hommes comme vous, côte à côte, dans ce grand combat. To stand with men like you shoulder to shoulder in this great fight. Dans ce monde appelé le christianisme. Called Christianity. Et prendre position et, 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 et prendre position à côté de vous comme l'un de ceux qui croient que cette commission est aussi capitale qu'elle l'était au moment où elle a été donnée. And take my position by your side as one who believes that this commission is just as essential as the hour it was given. Et dans ce grand monde où nous sommes, and this great field that we're in, bien des fois nous découvrons many times we discover que nous venons munis des ordres de différentes dénominations. That we come with the order of different denominations. Sans aucune référence de l'écriture. With no phases of the scripture. Mais le, la commission qui a été donnée à l'église. But the commission that was given to the la church. La dernière volonté de Jésus Christ. The last will of Jesus les Christ. Les dernières paroles. The last words. Il a prononcé de sa bouche. That came out of his mouth. Avant de s'en aller au ciel. Before going back to c'était heaven. C'était dans Marc chapitre 16. Can be found in Mark 16. Nous avons lu au verset, au verset 19. We read in verse 19. Et pendant qu'il leur parlait. That while he was speaking to them, he was received into heaven. Amen. Amen. Now let's go back to this text for a few moments. Let's see what God will to do amongst us this morning. If you paid attention to the lecture, from the verse 10 that we started, Marie de Magdala est allée se rendre compte que Jésus n'était pas dans la tombe, il était ressuscité. Mary Madeline realized that Jesus was not the grave and had been resurrected. La Bible dit, the Bible says, elle est revenue vers les principaux disciples, she went to the disciples, qui s'affligeaient, who were sad, et qui pleuraient, and who were crying, qui avaient la promesse que Jésus allait ressusciter. But there was a promise that Jesus would be resurrected. Quand elle vient leur annoncer que Jésus est ressuscité, and when she announced that Jesus was resurrected, au lieu qu'ils se réjouissent, instead of them rejoicing, la Bible dit, the Bible says, ils ne crient pas. They didn't believe her. Are we together? Are you with me? They didn't believe it. And those two disciples on the way to Emmaus, they saw the evidence that Jesus was resurrected. And he came to them. And they told them Jesus was resurrected. The Bible says, they didn't believe them either. 
Et puis lui-même leur apparaît. And then they himself appeared to them. La Bible dit au, au, au verset 14. The Bible says in verse 14. He appeared as they sat at the table and rebuked them with their unbelief. Now be with me. He rebuked their unbelief. They were unbelieving disciples. I'm not the one saying it. Jesus rebuked their unbelief. Peter and the others were unbelieving. And the people with them were unbelieving. Not believing he had risen. But be surprised with me. Because to those unbelievers, Jesus also gives them a commission. He tells them, go and preach around the world. Giving that commission to unbelievers. But notice something important. He says, verse 17, Behold the signs that shall follow them that believe. He knows that they're unbelieving now, but one day will come Well, they'll have faith. Amen. That's why he doesn't tell them. Here are the signs that will follow you, but that will follow those who believe. When they receive the faith, here are the signs that will follow you. Amen. Now notice, between verses 17, where he says, these signs shall follow them that believe, and verse 20, where they have to go preach everywhere, where it is written, and they preaching everywhere. And the Lord working with them. Confirming the word with signs following. What took place? In verse 19. The Bible says. After the Lord has spoken. He was received into heaven. And while he was received in heaven. While he was on his way. He told them. Do not leave Jerusalem. And they were in Acts chapter 1. In verse, between verse 15 and verse 20, there's Acts chapter 1 that comes in the middle. And in Acts chapter 1, I'll take verse 8. Jesus told them, You shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses, and you will go preach. So the Holy Ghost was the faith that they would receive. They were unbelieving. Amen. But when they would believe, in Acts chapter 1, when they stayed in Jerusalem, now that word took place in chapter 2, in the upper room. Amen. And when they received that experience, when they received the Holy Ghost, then they left and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them and confirmed their word with signs and wonders. So Jesus knew that these unbelievers one day in the upper room they would receive the faith. And faith is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's not me who says it. But the Branham says in the sermon earnestly contending for the faith in 55 he says, as Peter was still speaking those words, Acts chapter 10, that's Peter Cornelius, 
him who had the key to the kingdom. He opened it for the Jews. And he opened it for the Gent the Samaritans. And now he opens for the Gentiles. But the Bible says, as Peter expressed these words, the Holy Ghost came upon the Gentiles. What came down? The Holy Ghost. Brother Branham says, and there's the faith that was transmitted to saints once and for all. Faith is the Holy Spirit. And when they didn't have the Holy Spirit, even if they had a ministry, they were unbelieving ministers. They would receive faith in the upper room. That's where we receive faith. The true faith. Amen. And Peter said, they all started to speak in tongues and exalting God and trusting in God. And Brother Branham says, Peter said they had the same meeting as Peter in the time of the Pentecost. That's when Peter said, How can we receive, refuse your baptism? To this, seeing that they received the Holy Ghost just like we did at the beginning. Not any other way. But as we did in the beginning, are we together? The Holy Spirit is the faith that was given to the saints once and for all. That's why the Apostle Paul, in Ephesians 4 verse 5, he says, there's only one Lord, one faith. One baptism. Amen. Amen. How many faiths? One faith. That's why when the people said, Oh, it's contrary to my faith. He said, Your faith does not exist. When somebody says, It's contrary to my church's faith. Your church does not have a faith. There's only one faith that was given once and for all. And that faith is the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's why when Brother Adam came, he doesn't preach. Why would the Holy Ghost be given? But he preached. Why was the Holy Ghost given? Because it's the same faith that was given to the saints once and for all. May somebody say amen. Yes, my brothers and sisters. So my faith does not exist. Your faith of your church does not exist. And despite that, we've created so many faiths that divided us, that opposed us, that weakened us. No, the time has come where we have to go back to that faith. Hallelujah. And when God saw that the people lost that faith, that they got away from it, that's why God says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet to do what? To take the children and bring them to the faith of the fathers, my brothers and sisters, to bring us back the Holy Ghost in the church, the true Holy Ghost, the person of Jesus. May the saints say hallelujah. Yes, my brothers and sisters. That's why in Hebrews chapter 6, part 2, Brother Branham says, page 258 or paragraph 258, he says, all those make believe faiths will stop. 
All that we called faith. Brother Adam calls it make believe faith. And all those make believe faith. My faith. My church's faith. Our group's faith. Or this faith. Brother Branham says. All these make believe faith. Will cease. Il n'existe qu'une seule véritable foi. There's one true faith. Toutes les autres All others will cease. Parce que les autres Because the others ce sont des perversions were perverts de cette véritable fontaine. of this real fountain. La vraie foi. The true faith, the Holy Spirit, is an unterrestable fountain. Brother Branham says, when you have the Holy Ghost in you, you have everything you need from the earth to glory. That's why somebody with the Holy Ghost will never lose. Hallelujah. You can steal all my money. But as long as I have the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. Because you know, when a tree grows, you can cut the branches. God knew that that tree would have his branches cut. But God already placed branches in reserve in that tree. And it will continue to produce branches. Amen. Amen. That's the way it is with a man with the Holy Ghost. A daughter with the Holy Ghost. A church with the Holy Ghost. David said, He's like a tree planted near water. Whose leaves will never fall. And who bears fruit in its season. Hallelujah. Yes, our brothers and sisters. That's the exact truth. Amen. Amen. And when they received the faith, Jesus told them, Here are the signs that will follow those who believe. In other words, here are the signs that will follow you when you believe. Are we together? When you will believe, when you have the Holy Ghost, here are what will follow you. And 54, 13. The mark of the beast. He says this. Jesus Jesus cannot accept a man who's not born of the water and the spirit. He will never enter into the kingdom. So, after you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Jesus said, here are the signs that will follow those who believe. Amen. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost is the faith of the apostles. That's the faith of the Bible. That's it's to that faith that Brother Brandon brings us. And when you receive that faith, when you're not unbelieving to the resurrection, here are the signs that will follow those who believe. Amen. Amen. He says, now what does following mean? Following is not someone that came to your house and you follow them to their door and say goodbye. No. Following means to escort. Amen. Amen. And to escort means to follow somebody, to honor them, to protect them, and to defend them. Amen. Amen. That's how the big men have an escort. 
Amen. Amen. Une escorte pour les garder, An escort to protect them, protéger, to keep them, aussi pour les honorer. and to honor them. Vous avez des motards devant, if you have des derrière, des drones en haut, tout ça, d'abord pour l'honorer. You have soldiers in front of you and drones above you to honor you. Ensemble? Are we together? Ne perdez pas sur cette note. Don't lose this note. Donc c'est pour honorer cette personne. So it's to honor that person. Et aussi, and also, pour les protéger en cas de danger. To protect them in case they're in danger. Pour les sécuriser. To keep them in security. Et Dieu sait que, and God knows that, quand quelqu'un devient un vrai croyant, when somebody becomes a true believer, il devient la cible du diable. They become the devil's target. Alors, il a besoin d'une escorte. So they need an escort. Amen. Amen. Une escorte. An escort. Pour d'abord l'honorer pour sa foi. To honor them for their faith. Amen. Amen. Pour les protéger. To protect them. Pour les sécuriser. To keep them pour safe. Pour les défendre. And to defend them. Et pour ta défense. And to your defense. Jésus dit, Jesus says. Voici. Here. Les miracles. Are the signs. Qui escorteront. That will escort. Qui suivront. That will follow. Qui va croire. The one who will believe. Pour l'honorer. To honor them. Them, pour les protéger, to protect them pour les défendre, and to defend them. Est-ce est Are we together? Remarquez, Now notice. Quand un camion de sable vient de la carrière, when a, un camion de sable, un when camion a truck de sable, of sand, a sand truck, pour aller à un chantier, goes to a field. Il n'y a pas d'escorte pour ces camions. There's no escort for that truck. Mais quand un camion quitte une banque, d'une banque à une autre avec des mal d'argent. When there's a truck that leaves one bank to another filled with money. Parce que on escorte que quelque chose qui est important. Because you only escort something that's important. On ne gaspille pas l'escorte comme ça. You don't waste an escort for no reason. C'est pour quelqu'un qui est important. An escort for somebody who's important. Pour Dieu. So for God. Quand vous devenez son fils. When you become his son. Passé du Saint Esprit. With the Holy Ghost. Vous êtes la cible du diable. You are the devil's target. Le diable va vous attaquer plus qu'auparavant. So he'll attack you more. Toutes les femmes seront même nues devant vous. Everything will be put in front of you. En ce moment là. And at that time. Voici. Behold the signs that will follow those who believe to protect them. Amen. Amen. To honor them. Amen. Amen. And the escort will not leave you along the way. He'll be with you all the way. When God gave you an escort, it's an escort for your entire life. Et dans l'escorte, and in that escort, on ne met pas des petits soldats faibles. They don't put weak soldiers. Non, dans l'escorte, in that escort, on sélectionne les soldats les plus forts. They choose the best soldiers. Amen. Amen. Et vous savez, and you know, avec une vraie escorte, with a true escort, prenons un président, let's take a president, il a son escorte, with their escort, les militaires qui les gardent, the soldiers that protect them. Défend. That defend Mais them. Tout de la marche, But all during their journey, le sort de sa voiture, the president comes out the car. De le, dans, dans face, dans, dans la foule. Maybe to go greet a friend. Si estime If the security guard sees that the president is in danger, si le président, even if he's the president, là, those security guards comme un will Et hold him and voiture. throw him back in the car. Are we together? That's why. When you have the Holy Ghost, and temptation becomes too strong, Amen. God will say, "In my name, you will cast out evil spirits." Amen. To protect you, to keep you, to keep you safe. May the saints say, "Amen." Oui, mes frères et sœurs. Frère Branham dit. Brother Branham says. Le 14 juin 53, dans le message combattre ardemment pour la foi qui a été transmis une fois pour toutes. Nous parlons du signe du croyant. We're talking about the signs of the believer. C'était la dernière volonté. That was the last will. Et la dernière volonté d'un homme doit être respectée en tant que telle. And the last will of a man has to be respected as his will. Madame dit nous disons que. But the man says we say that. Aujourd'hui nous avons changé l'écriture. On dit ceci. Today we took the scripture. We said. Voici le signe du croyant. Behold the signs of the believer. Il fréquente l'église. That goes to the church. C'est comme ça que nous. On lit Marc 16 aujourd'hui. That's how we read Mark 16 today. Voici le signe qui accompagne le croyant. Behold the signs that will follow the believer. Il fréquente l'église. C'est un homme bon. Il paye ses dettes. They're a good man. They pay their debts. debts. They're there in time of need. They pay their tithes. Brother Ransom says all that is good. There's nothing to say about that. 
Non, c'est un homme qui instruit bien ses enfants. Oh, it's a man who, who knows how to educate his children. Voilà, mais c'est merveilleux. Je n'ai rien fois. à dire là-dessus. But, mais, but, ce n'est pas là le signe d'un croyant. That's not the sign of a believer. Je veux que vous compreniez. I want you to understand. Que fréquenter l'église, that going to church, c'est une bonne chose. Is a good thing. Mais ce n'est pas le signe d'un croyant. But it's not the sign of a believer. Bien assurer les enfants, educating your children, les dettes, paying your debts, même celles de Dieu, des dîmes, and et your tout tithes, ça c'est bien. All that is good. Mais ce n'est pas ça le signe d'un croyant. But that's not the sign of a believer. Branham dit. But the Branham says. Soyez avec moi. Be with me. Même prêcher l'évangile, even preaching the gospel, ce n'est pas le signe d'un croyant. It's not the sign of a believer. Même prêcher l'évangile, even preaching the gospel, comprenez? Understand? Ils étaient prédicateurs, There was a mais preachers, incrédules, but unbelievers. L'incrédulité n'est pas seulement dans les bancs. Unbelief, Elle peut même être ici. Unbelief is not just on the pews; it can be here too. Jésus a dit. Jesus said, "Voici les miracles qui accompagneront." Here are the signs that will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will speak new tongues. They will get a hold of serpents. If they drink any mortal dangerous drink, they won't be hurt. They will lay their hands on the sick and the sick will be healed. But the Branham says, and today, do it and they will laugh at you. Pourtant, Branham a dit que Marc 16, c'est l'un des messages les plus glorieux et les plus importants qui puissent être prêchés aujourd'hui. That Mark 16 is one of the most important sermons that can be Mais preached today. Mais quand on prêche ça, But when we preach it, on va se moquer de vous. People make fun of you. Vous pensez que parce que généralement quand il va venir, il va aller dans la profondeur des yeux de la chair humaine, il va aller dans la profondeur de la nuée, on s'attendait à ça. Because the dick, when he'll come down, he'll come down in the deepness of the, of the flesh. Nous avons fait tout ça. We did all that. Mais regardez la tête comment elle devient. But regardez. notice how our head has become. Donc à cet âge ici, so in this age, on doit amener les gens à l'essentiel. We have to bring people to the important things. Oui, mes frères et sœurs, my brothers and on sisters, on n'a plus le temps à blaguer. We don't have time to waste anymore. Voici les miracles qui accompagneront. Here are the signs that will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will speak new tongues. I want you to understand. The new tongues is amongst the miracles that Jesus talked about. But sometimes we think that in the message, we can't speak in tongues. But Brother Bradham spoke in tongues. Et parler de langue. And speaking in tongues. Me dit, He's one of the signs. Écoutez les bandes sur les sceaux. Listen to the tapes on the seals. Amen. Amen. You find in parentheses a sister prophesies. Or a brother speaks in tongues. En plein dans l'ouverture des sceaux. After the opening of the seals. Mais nous aujourd'hui, but us today, on peut enseigner le sceau toute une année sans que personne parle la langue. We'll teach the seals all year without anybody sans speaking in tongues. Prophecy. Or any ça, prophecy. Ça, c'est quel sceau ça? But what type of seals is les that? Les sceaux de Branham ont des langues et des prophéties. The seals of Brother Branham come with tongues and prophecies. Oui, mes frères et sœurs. Yes, our brothers and sisters. Une sœur parle la langue. A sister speaks in tongues. Il y a une autre qui interprète. Brother Branham says another one interprets. But I don't see her. Tout à coup, l'esprit saisit un homme. Suddenly, the Holy Ghost takes a hold of a man. Et ça, c'est en plein l'ouverture de la parole. And that's during the opening of the word. Oui, mes frères et sœurs. Yes, our brothers and sisters. Mais quels sont les sœurs que nous on enseigne? But what are the seals that we're teaching? Quand on enseigne les sœurs, Brother Branham teaches. Il y a des prophéties là-dedans. There are prophecies. Il y a des langues là-dedans. There are tongues. Lui qui était prophète. Him was a prophet. Avec tout ce qu'il avait. With all that he had. Et tout ce qu'il était. And all that he was. Il avait des dons dans son église. There were gifts in his church. Mais nous ici. But us here. Quand je pense. I think. Que nous nous en avons plus besoin que lui. That we need it more than he does. 
Frère Benham dit, Brother Benham says, je n'ai jamais demandé une chose à Dieu. I never asked something from God. Sans qu'il me la donne. Without him giving it to me. Ou s'il ne me la donne pas. Or if he doesn't give it to me. Sans qu'il me dise pourquoi. Without il him ne telling me. Why he didn't give me. Mais nous. But us. Que Dieu nous donne. Whether God gives us, it's his will. When he doesn't give it to us, it's his will. But who told you that? Brother Adam says, man was not placed on the earth to struggle. And in the majority of the cases, we are in train to struggle. And most of the times, we are struggling. Nous faisons des affaires We do business sans une parole du Seigneur. Without God. Nous faisons des voyages We go on trips sans une parole du Seigneur. Without a word from the Lord. Nous embrassons les études sans une parole du Seigneur. We go study without the words Nous of the Lord. Nous faisons tout sans une parole du Seigneur. We do yes. everything without the Lord speaking to us. Ça ne doit pas être comme ça. But it shouldn't be like that. Frère Branham dit. Brother Branham says. Je voudrais aller à quelque part. I like to go somewhere. Et être sûr de pouvoir dire and be sure to be able to say that I'm here in the name of the Lord Jesus. Je suis à ce poste. I'm at this post in the name of Jesus. Je suis dans ce mariage. I'm in this wedding. Au nom de Jésus. Marriage in the name of Jesus. Quand vous êtes là au nom de Jésus. And when you're there in the name of Jesus. C'est alors. That's when you will possess all the gates of the enemy. Et laissez-moi vous dire, moi je suis ici ce matin. And I'm here this morning in the name of Jesus. Je ne suis pas venu seulement parce que j'ai eu un visa, non. I didn't come just because I got my visa. Je sais de quoi je parle. I know that when I'm speaking, oui, mes frères et sœurs, my brothers and sisters. Donc nous nous devons arrêter de nous débrouiller. We have to stop struggling. Nous avons un message. We have a message. Que parfois nous comprenons pas. That we don't understand sometimes. Nous avons un message. Écoutez sa voix. We have a message. Hear his voice. But how many take the time to listen to his voice before taking, before doing something? We have a message. God's, the voice that God provided for everything. But who asked for the voice of God before doing anything? Everything is just hesitating after hesitating. No, at a certain moment, it has to stop. In 64, Brother Adam saw a vision of the bride. Amen. Amen. You know it. He sees the bride pass in front of him. He says she was perfect. She walked at the footsteps of the word. And she was led by the Holy Ghost. When that bride passed, the churches appeared. Brother Adam cried. He said, my heart almost stopped. I said, is this it? What me and Pastor Lewis produced as the bride? He said, my heart was about to stop. And then the one who spoke to me said, don't worry. The bride will come back. The bride will come back. And he said, when she came back, she was exactly like the first one. And the first one was the church of the Pentecost. Not of a denomination. But believers in the Pentecost. And there was a church led by the Holy Ghost. Brother Adam says, the Christians of before couldn't even take one step without God. They couldn't take one step without God telling them something. One step. But we do a thousand steps without God. And when we fail, we say it's the will of God. No. When the bride comes back, when the bride comes back for the second time, Brother Adam says, it has the same appearance as the first. It's identical to the first. 
même matériaux. It's made of the same materials. Amen. Amen. Elle a la même doctrine. It has the same doctrine. Elle a la même foi. The same faith. Alléluia. Alléluia. Oui, mes frères et sœurs. Yes, brothers and sisters. Elle a le même Dieu. It has the same God. La même colonne de feu. The same pillar of fire. C'est pourquoi Branham dit. That's why Brother Adam says. Cette colonne de feu. That pillar of fire. Rien n'a à voir avec moi. Has nothing to do with si me. Si je mourrais cette nuit. If I die tonight. That pillar of fire will stay in the church. Yes, brothers and sisters. We kept our pictures here. I believe that the pillar of fire is a pillar of fire if there's no picture. I believe that the cloud is a cloud. It didn't start today. When Israel left Egypt, they had the pillar of fire to clear clear their way during the night. And they had the cloud to protect them during the day. If we have a true cloud, the world crisis is not the crisis of the bride. If we have a true pillar of fire, when the people don't know what to do, the darkest shadow, the pillar of fire, will shine on us. Yes, brothers and sisters, to tell us what to do. And where to go? Cette église This church doit être sur la terre. must be there. Je vais dire, I'll say, cette église this church doit quitter les brochures. has to leave the booklets. Amen. Amen. Elle doit quitter les brochures. has to leave the booklets Et être manifeste. and be manifested. Je vais voir cette église. I want to see that church. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham says, in the last days, God will have a bride that will not just have the mechanic, but will also have the mechanic and the dynamic. Can somebody say amen? Yes, brothers and sisters. And that bride has to leave the booklet and become real. Amen. Amen. Brother Branham says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Even in the smallest details. Listen. In the exception of his body, his physical body. Are we together? The same, the bride has to be exactly the same even in the smallest details at the exception of the physical body. That means Peter can be here in another form. Andrew can be here in another form. Paul can be here in another form. Yes, our brother and sister. We need new Peters. That when they'll walk, their shadows will heal the sick. When somebody falls, my brothers and sisters, they can look at it and say, stand up. And that man will stand up. May somebody say amen. The bride has to be exactly the same. At the exception of the robe and the beard. Brother Adam says, Le 5 décembre 53. 1253. Dans le message de la résurrection. The resurrection. Au point 103, deuxième partie et 104, il dit ceci. He says this. C'est la dernière volonté du Seigneur Jésus. The last will of the Lord Jesus Christ. Recevez ça comme tel. Receive it as that. Et ça vous fera quelque chose. And it'll do something. Moi, mon père, avant de mourir, My father before dying, il m'avait dit moi j'étais marié. He said I love you a lot. Toi, occupe-toi aussi de tes petits frères. So take care of your little brothers. Et comme c'est mon père qui a dit ça et puis il est parti. And since it's my father that said that Je before he left. Je ne peux pas faire 
I can't do anything else. I took care of them, like my father said, because it was his last will. And if I can obey the will of my physical father, his will that could have imperfections, but how much greater La dernière volonté the last will du Seigneur Jésus. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pendant qu'il disait, wow, he said, Voici les miracles qui vous accompagneront quand vous aurez crié. Et puis il est monté, il est parti. He wrote the signs. C'est terminé. And then he went Après up. Ça, it's finished. Fini. After that, it's over. Frère Branham dit, Brother Branham says, le, et lorsque vous recevez le Saint Esprit, when you receive the Holy Ghost, êtes-vous avec moi? Are you with me? When you receive the Holy Ghost, you believe in all kinds of miracles and signs. And not only do you believe it, but you practice them. Voici these signs shall follow them that believe. Mark says. Mark 16. When you receive the Holy Ghost. When you believe in all the miracles. But not just believing them, but putting them into practice. They didn't say each believer has to cast out devils, speak in tongues, and do all that. No, one might speak in tongues, the other will cast out devils, the other will do this. But you have to be doing something. But Aaron says, Now, listen. Listen to this. Now, if those signs are not following you, then then you're just imagining you are a believer. If Mark 16 is not manifested in your life, Brother Branham says, you are just imagining that you're a believer. But in the truth, you're not. Whether you're a preacher, whether you're an elder, whether you're a man or woman, if Mark 16 does not follow you, then you're just imagining that you're a believer, but you are not. And I'm a nail on that. On the missionary talk, Frère Branham dit, Brother Branham says, point 26 et point 28, paragraph 26 et 28, 28. Il dit, he says, Alors, so, il dit, euh, Jésus a dit, Jesus said, il dit, remarquez maintenant, he said, notice, le seul moyen, the only way, par lequel l'évangile pourrait donc être prêché, to the gospel could be preached, c'est de manifester la puissance du Saint Esprit. It's to manifest the power of the Holy Ghost. Ensuite, and then, quel est le passage suivant? What is the next scripture? Et une conjonction. A conjunction. Voici and les miracles. Here are the signs that will follow those who believe. Non pas les miracles qui pourront les accomplir. Not the signs that might follow them. Ils doivent les accomplir. They must follow them. Mais But, ils accompagneront seulement ceux qui auront cru. They will only follow those who believe. Or nous avons vu que la foi commence dans la chambre haute. Like we saw the faith starting in the upper room. La foi, c'est le Saint-Esprit. Faith is the Holy Ghost. Et Frère Branham dit, And Brother Branham says, tu veux ça bien. 
Write this down. If there's somebody of our race, he will be shaken. He says so. Properly speaking, so this to say, a man, a believer cannot call himself a believer before Mark 16 takes place. My goal for today is that you, if you came as an unbeliever, that you become a believer in this meeting. When I believe it's possible. Brother Adam says. When we call each other believers, it's just by courtesy, politeness. But I want to tell you today that they seduced you by calling you believer. Without Mark succeeding in your life, Brother Adam says, properly speaking, somebody cannot call themselves a believer without Mark 16 being there. So if you don't become a believer during this meeting and that you leave, call yourself something else. Not a believer. Point, oh, paragraph 12. No church can, has the right to call itself a believing church until these signs has followed them. Happily, happily that I'm at living God. Listen, I have to tell you Living God, living God. If it stays a word we place on the wall, it's not different from anything else. God has to be alive here. God has to be living here. If that's not the case, your name means nothing. Brother Adam says, no church has the right to call itself a believer church without Mark 16 following it. That's what Jesus said. What is it doing? It makes the word manifest. As soon as I got here and I read living God, I said I'm in the right place. Questions and answers, 59. Open on and Brother says, Je prends par quelques paradis. Quand un homme est né de Dieu, when a man is born of God, il croit chaque parole que Dieu a écrite. He believes every word that God wrote. Et cet homme, and that man, soutient, supports, que Dieu, God, est tout aussi grand aujourd'hui, is such as just as great today, qu'il était dans le passé, than he was in the past. Just as great today. Now listen. When I talk about today, I'm talking about today. I'm not in 59.
59, if it's 59, I'll say yesterday. But when I say today, it's today. When Brother Adam says here, it's not in Chicago. Here means here. When he says in this room, I'm not in Canada. This room is this room. Amen. Amen. He says he supports that God is just as great today as he was in the past. And he never changes. It's just the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he's filled with the Holy Ghost, he got the same Holy Ghost he gave on the day of Pentecost. And makes him act the same way. If they stumbled, I will stumble too. If they spoke in tongues, I'll speak in tongues. If they glorified God, I will glorify God. If they acted like drunks, then I will act like I'm drunk. Brother Branham says, the Holy Ghost will do the same thing. If he's born in the Spirit of God, Mark 16, Jesus, dit, Jesus said, Voici les miracles qui accompagneront ceux qui auront cru. These signs are followed them that believe. C'est vrai. It's true. Écoutez maintenant. Now listen. Si donc quelqu'un dit, so if he says, Je suis un croyant. I'm a believer. Et que ces signes ne l'accompagnent pas. And them signs don't follow. Alors, then, c'est un soi-disant croyant. He's a make-believer. Pas un croyant. Uh, what is a believer? C'est un soi-disant croyant. He's a make-believer. Pas un croyant. Not a believer. But what's good with our God is that even if you're a make-believer, he can change your state. If you open your heart, he can change your status. In Queen Sheba, Reine de Seba, 17 mai 57. Point 30, troisième partie. 57 of 517. Combien sont fils de Dieu ici? Levez la main. How many are children of God here? Raise your hand. Alors maintenant, le, le test est ici. The text is here. Frère Branham dit. Brother Branham says. Comment savez-vous que vous êtes un fils de Dieu? How do you know that you're a son of God? Réponse. The answer. Voici donc. Les miracles qui accompagneront ceux qui auront cru. Here are the signs that will follow those who believe. Je ne vais pas faire pécher quelqu'un en posant encore la question qui est fils de Dieu. I'm going to make somebody sin by saying, Are you a son of God? Mais dans votre cœur, vous avez compris. But in your heart, you know. Chacun comprend. Each one understands que si c'est comme ça, that if that's the way it is, Dieu, that I'm a son of si God, ça, or if that's the way it is, that I'm not a son of God. Apocalypse chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4. Deuxième partie. Part 2. Le 1er janvier 61. Depuis le point 258. Brother Anand talks about a man, a great man, that was boasting about his faith in Jesus Christ. He tells Brother Branham, a big man once said, I believe in him, hallelujah. I believe in him, amen. God in human flesh. Amen, hallelujah. Now Branham, 
lui pose un test pour voir s'il est un croyant. Now Brother Branham gave him a test to see if he was a believer. J'aurais aimé qu'on trouve ce texte, mais je ne sais pas. I'd like them to find that scripture. Écoutez. Listen. Frère Branham demande à cette personne. Brother Branham asked that person. Qui a dit qu'il croit en lui. Who said I believe in him. Hallelujah. Vous êtes-il déjà arrivé de parler en langue? He asked, have you ever spoke with tongues? C'est pas moi. That's not me. C'est Branham. That's Brother Branham. Je suis un croyant en lui. Alléluia. You say I'm a believer in him. Hallelujah. Il ne demande pas crois-tu Dieu dans la chair humaine Non. Brother Branham didn't ask, do you believe in God in human flesh Il ne demande pas crois-tu Luc 17 Non. He's not asking if you believe Luke 17. Il ne pas crois-tu Voici ses yeux. Or do you believe here his eyes, his nose Je suis un croyant. You say I'm a believer. Vous êtes-il arrivé de parler en langue Have you ever spoken in tongues? D'interpréter les langues. Okay. Interpret tongues? D'interpréter les langues. Interpret tongues? De chasser les démons. Cast out devils? D'avoir des visions. Visions? Selon ce qu'il a promis. As he promised? Et l'homme répond. And that man said? Non. No. Cette époque là est révolue. That day is past. Frère Branham dit. Brother Branham says. Alors, then He's not a believer. He's a make believer. A great man. After this, is he still great? His greatness fell. Je crois en lui, alléluia. I believe in him, hallelujah. Nous, on penserait que Dieu, il va demander est-ce que tu crois Dieu dans la, la totalité. He thought Brother Branham was going to ask him, do you believe God in his fullness, in the flesh? Mais Branham lui demande. But Brother Branham asked him. Vous êtes-il déjà arrivé de parler en langue? Have you ever spoken in tongues? Or interpret? D'avoir des visions. Or have visions? No. He said, no, I believe the great things, the big things. Brother Banner says, with that, you're not a believer. Someone can say, everything you have heard, Pastor, it was before 63, it was before the word of God. Somebody, somebody might say, oh, all the scriptures you took was before 63. So let me take after 63. And I'll take a sermon whose title is already significant. La foi parfaite. Perfect faith. La foi parfaite. Perfect faith. Le 25 août 63, loin après l'ouverture de toute la parole. 63.08.25, way after the opening of the word. Au point septembre, je vais connaître le texte au tableau. Paragraph 72, let's wait for the scripture to come up. La foi parfaite, point septembre. Perfect faith. Eh bien, now, pour l'identification d'un chrétien selon l'écriture. The identification of a scripture Christian. Je voudrais te dire, mon frère, ma soeur. I like to say, my brother and sister. Ne te contente pas. Don't be happy. De l'identification d'un chrétien selon l'église. Of the identification of a Christian according to the church. Frère Branham dit. Brother Branham says. L'identification d'un chrétien de l'écriture. Of a scripture Christian. Pas de son église. Not of a church Christian. Pas de son pasteur. Not a pastor Christian. Moi, je peux t'envoyer au ciel aujourd'hui et demain t'envoyer en enfer. I can send you to heaven today and tomorrow send you to hell. Je dis des choses vraies. I'm saying the truth. Je peux te donner le Saint-Esprit aujourd'hui et demain je te l'arrache. I can give you the Holy Ghost today and tomorrow take it from you. Donc, ne te contente pas de ça. So don't be happy with that. Frère Branham dit. But the random says, Jésus a dit ces mots, ces Jesus paroles. said these words. Voici these. Les miracles qui accompagnent ceux qui auront cru. Signs shall follow them that believe. Comment pouvez-vous vous dire un croyant? How can you call yourself a believer? Un peuple. A people. Et nier ces paroles. And deny those words. 
Comment pouvez-vous vous dire un croyant? How can you call yourself a believer? And deny any of this word. Voyez-vous? You see? Il dit, he says. Vous ne pouvez pas le faire. You can't do it. Now listen. Si on peut les, les on à haute voix. Let's read it together. Les on à haute voix. Let's read it together. Allons-y. Let's go. Vous n'êtes pas un croyant. You're not a believer. C'est pourquoi ces signes ne peuvent pas vous suivre. Therefore, these signs can't follow. You're not a believer. That's why this cannot follow you. Because you just accept you just accept what you want to believe. Listen. If you said you only believe what you find, that would have been better. Because when you find more, you will believe more. But here you have everything in front of you. But you choose what you want. Because it agrees your faith. Or your church's faith. And what's controlling the church's faith. Or what's stopping your faith. Brother Branham says. And the rest. You don't believe. As soon as you do that. Those signs will never follow you. And you're still not a believer. Amen. Amen. But you got to take the whole thing. Amen. Amen. Take the whole thing. And believe it. Écoutez. Now listen. Et lorsque vous croyez vraiment, and when you truly believe, chaque mot compte. Each word matters. Pas seulement lorsque vous croyez, not just when you believe, mais lorsque vous croyez vraiment. But when you truly believe, Branham dit, Brother Branham says, pas faire semblant de croire, not make believe, pas soi-disant croire, not make believing, mais, but really believe Alors, then ces miracles accompagneront ceux qui auront cru. these signs follow them that believe la dernière volonté du Seigneur Jésus. that's the last will of the Lord chose tellement important. it's so important c'est l'identification d'un croyant Selon it's an identification of a scripture Christian. Moi, je suis fatigué I'm tired comme croyant selon mon of being identified as a church Christian. Brother, I'm preaching a message. Brother, I'm preaching a sermon. La confirmation est... The confirmation. Tu avec moi? Are you with me? De la commission. Of the commission. Là, dedans, dit, and there he says, un policier, quelqu'un peut venir. Somebody can come. In a police uniform. Avec le badge. With their badge. Et dit, je suis and say, I'm a police officer. Je vous I'm arresting you. Dit, ne pas. But the man says, don't shake. Demandez lui de se présenter. Asked him to present himself. Si il dit, Mais je suis en If he says, well, I'm in my uniform. Dit, quel But the man says, any scammer. Can take a uniform. Dans les bazars. In a store, or in a store, et and the badges. That doesn't make him a police officer. La tenue the uniform et and the badges, la à une the belonging to a church, de votre and the teaching of your church, does not identify you as a believer. Brother Adam says, il doit vous présenter sa carte d'identité scellée. He has to show you his ID card that's sealed. Est-ce qu'on est ensemble? Are we together? Scellé. Sealed. Et ça nous ramène encore à Marc 16. And it brings us back to Mark 16. 
Or, pour avoir la carte d'identité, but in order to receive your ID, là, là d'où je viens, where I come from, vous devez présenter le certificat de naissance. You have to show your birth certificate. Il y a un dossier. There is a folder that you have to give pour avoir sa carte d'identité. To receive your ID. Né de père tel, de mère tel et tout ça dans le dans Born of this mother, this father, and all that. Certificat de naissance. That's your birth certificate. Je parle de la nouvelle naissance. I'm talking about the new birth. Vous devez présenter une attestation de bonne vie et mœurs. You have to show proof of good of a good life, good citizenship. Je parle d'une vie digne de l'évangile. And I'm talking about a life worthy of the gospel. Vous devez présenter. You have to show. Êtes-vous avec moi? Are you with me? Un, ca, un casier judiciaire vierge. You have to show an empty court case. Montrant que toutes les choses anciennes sont court history. Et Showing that everything pa- is past and everything has become new. Que vous avez été enseveli. That you were buried. Et que vous êtes ressuscité avec Jésus. And you were risen with Jesus. To enter to the new life. Un casier judiciaire vierge. An empty court history. Showing that you've repented. That you've confessed your sins. And that they were forgiven. And even justified. And you never did it. But there's another document you have to show. Which means. When we pronounce a judgment by the judge. When, il affiche le juge là. When you're pronounced a sentence by the judge. Il y a où quelqu'un peut venir contester. There's a delay where somebody can contest it. After that delay, if nobody contested it, le certificat de non appel. Dès cet instant là, le jugement devient inattaquable. And from that moment, your judgment Donc, is not valid. Donc vous devez prouver que votre nouvelle naissance n'est pas discutable. So you have to show that your new birth is not contestable. Votre femme rentre, que vous êtes née de nouveau. Your wife will testify Votre that you're born again. Témoignage. Your husband will testify. At work, they'll testify. At school, they'll testify. At church, they'll testify. Your new birth was not contested. And with that folder, they give you your ID. We have somebody in the room. Le grand avocat. The great lawyer. Il peut composer votre dossier maintenant. Who can build your folder now? Si vous le voulez. If you want it. Il peut arranger votre dossier. He can fix your folder. Si vous le lui confier. If you'd give it to him. Seigneur Jésus. Say Lord Jesus. Je me rends compte. I realize. Je pensais que j'étais un croyant. That I thought I was a believer. Je me rends compte ce matin. I realize this morning that I'm not. Aide-moi. Help me. À avoir tous ces documents. To have all those documents. Pour que aujourd'hui même. So that today even. Je ne sorte pas d'ici. I will not leave here. Sans ma carte d'identité. Without my ID. Je ne sorte pas d'ici. I won't leave here. Sans être identifié comme croyant. Without being identified as a believer. Non pas selon mon église. Not according to my church. Mais selon l'écriture. But according to the scripture. Avec Marc 16. With Mark 16. Ma compagnie. Following me. Veuillez-vous lever. Maybe if you can stand up. Nous allons, nous allons prier le Seigneur. Nous allons prier chacun. Each one will pray. Le tout dépend de votre cœur. Everything depends on your heart. Si vous comprenez ce matin. If you understand this morning. Pourquoi sortir d'ici un croyant ou soit disant croyant? Why leave here an unbeliever or make believer? Parce qu'il y a possibilité. Because there's a possibility. De devenir croyant maintenant. To become a believer now. Dieu. God. Est ici. Is here. Pour remplir votre cœur. To fill your heart. Pour vous donner la foi. To give you faith. La foi dans la résurrection. The resurrection faith. Que Pierre n'avait pas. And that Peter didn't Brother have. Adam dit, But Adam says. A vrai dit. Truly. Personne. Nobody. Ne peut s'appeler chrétien. Can call themselves a Christian. Avant que ça n'arrive. Without the même blood. Même pas une église. Not even a church. Avant que ça n'arrive. Before it même happens. Même pas un prédicateur. Not even a preacher. Avant que ça n'arrive. Without it taking place. Pourquoi? Why? Je vais rentrer non croyant. I'm going to go home an unbeliever. Alors qu'il y a possibilité. While. 
de le devenir maintenant. There's a chance to become it now. Pense à ça, mon frère. Think of that, my brother. Moi, je crois que Dieu peut le faire. I believe God can do it. Et il va le faire. And he will do it. Je l'ai vu le faire partout. I saw him do it everywhere. J'ai apporté ce message. Where I brought this sermon. J'ai vu le saint de descendre. I see the Holy Ghost come down and enter into men and into women who came unbelievers and who left believers. It's not about a, a class. It doesn't require you going to school. It doesn't require you reading. It requires you opening your heart and say, Lord, I recognize myself as an unbeliever, but make of me a believer. Make of me a believer. Give me the faith. The faith that was given. Let's raise our hands together and sing a little song. May each one take their position. And you're God. And I pray for you and give the rest to the pastor. The last will of Jesus Christ. Oh, mon frère, ma soeur. My brother and sister. The Holy Ghost is here for you. He's here for you. C'est le temple du Dieu vivant. It's the temple of the living God. Il vient maintenant. He comes now. Il vivifie sa parole. May he quicken his word. Il entre dans votre cœur. In your heart. Il entre dans votre âme. May he enter to your soul. Il vous change. May he change Il you. Il change votre statut. May he change your status. Il change votre statut. May he change your state. Maintenant même. Even now. Et tout de suite. And right now. Élevons les mains, frère, dans un petit chant. Let's raise our hands while we sing a little Et song. Et on va ensemble prier le Seigneur. And we pray to the Lord.
Maman, veuillez vous lever, je vais prier. Oh, pray. Mettez votre main droite sur le cœur. Put your right hand on your heart. Et levez votre main gauche vers le ciel. And raise your left hand to heaven. Et gardez votre requête dans votre cœur. And look into your heart. Que ce soit une requête pour le Saint-Esprit. There's a request for the Holy Ghost. Pour la guérison de votre corps. For the healing of your body. Ou pour n'importe quel besoin. Or for any need. Je crois que Dieu est ici pour répondre à votre question. I believe God is here to grant it. Comme preuve qu'il est un Dieu vivant. As a proof that he's a living God. Parce que que sert-il because what's the use of worshiping a God of history we don't want to serve a God of history and he's our God today raise your left hand up and we'll pray God our Father and our King you know how I was waiting on you for this meeting Oh, my servant, when you, your servant when he called me here you knew the expectation of your people there's a hand on their heart there's a request there's a need a need for the Holy Ghost a need of your forgiveness a need for your healing a need for a deliverance divine savior there's a hand raised to you to say that it's our help comes from you our answer comes from you our deliverance comes from you our salvation comes from you it's you who sends the Holy Ghost it's you that heals every sick divine savior as your servant my hand is also raised to you showing that I'm counting on you not on my own might Je n'en ai pas peur. I don't have any. Je compte sur ta puissance. I'm counting on your might. Sur ta grâce. Your grace. Sur ta miséricorde. Your mercy. Sur ta compassion. Your compassion. Et surtout sur ta fidélité. And your faithfulness. Toi qui promets et qui accomplis. You who promises and fulfills it. Je prie Père. I pray Father. Après qu'on ait entendu ta parole. After we heard your word. La portion que tu as préparée pour nous pour ce jour. The portion you prepared for us today. S'il y a une main levée. If there's a hand raised. Qui veut le saint that wants the Holy Ghost may they receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus bring down your Holy Ghost send it on your people it is written in the last days you will spread your spirit on every flesh if there's a flesh here that needs you come down bring down your power bring down your Holy Ghost give it to your people oh beloved God we don't need the Holy Ghost in heaven we need it on the earth to fight against sin to fight against unbelief to fight against temptation why should you keep the Holy Ghost bring it down on your people in the name of Jesus Christ may they receive the Holy Ghost if there's somebody who was sick in front of sickness you said here are the signs that will follow those who believe in my name they will cast out devils in the name of Jesus Christ no matter the demon no matter its shape I cast it out in the name of Jesus deliver your people divine savior if there is a financial need an employment need a business need our child need if there's a house that's not stable God of mercy by the power of this word make each home stable bless each son of God bless each daughter of God may each person in this meeting a few days from now may they say from that day my life has changed God bless me God healed me. God saved me. 
Beloved Father, Divine Savior, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, May each demonic power be conquered in the name of Jesus. And may your people be to totally delivered. Grant us your mercy. May the sick be healed. May the sinners be saved. May the backsliders stand up. May your children come closer to you. Through this meeting. And the message that was given. Oh God of goodness. God of grace. God of mercy. May your name be blessed. May your name be magnified. May your name be raised up. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for the answer to our prayers. Beloved God, bless your servant. Bless this church. Bless each person that came here. I give them all to your hands. Confirm that it's you who sent me here by answering each request in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved Father, if there was a difficult situation, you the God that takes the impossible and makes it possible, you the God that changes time, that changes circumstances, you're the God, the true unshakable God, the God who never changes. May your children be blessed. May they leave. May they leave this meeting with a new experience. Almighty God. And may your infallible presence follow them. May your presence and your angels escort them. Follow them. To honor them. To protect them. To defend them. To keep them safe. God of mercy, may it be so, for you said, all that you ask in prayer, believe you've already received it, and you will see it come to pass, I believe it's done, I believe you heard, I believe it's fulfilled, let it be so, manifest it, manifest it, manifest it, manifest it, so the joy of your people be perfect, and may the glory, the honor, la puissance, the power, la the magnificence, the elevation, the worship, go to you. Forever, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The confirmation of your word. We know that you work with them and that you will confirm your word through signs that will follow them and signs and wonders take place in the life of your people. So they can say that the God of the miracles is real. The God of the prophets is real. The God of the apostles is real. The God of the Bible is real. Let it be so, Father, for the glory of your name. I pray with faith and with deep conviction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Oh, 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 praise God. Praise God. Gloire à Dieu. Glory to God. Merci, Seigneur. Thank you, Lord. Est-ce qu'on peut lui donner des acclamations? Can we give him a round of applause? Merci, Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Seigneur. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Oh, my. Oh, merci, Jésus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Mes frères et sœurs. My brothers and sisters. Je peux les sentir. I can feel him. Sa présence est ici. His presence is here. Le Seigneur Jésus. The Lord Jesus Christ. Le de sa parole. The author of his word. Il est ici. 
is here and he always will confirm his word I believe with all my heart that God has visited us I believe with all my heart it's not a shadow it's not a man the Reverend Gideon it's not a man that we heard who did you come to hear who did you come listen to not the Pastor Gideon but the Holy Ghost has spoken to us I believe it with all my heart then he's here people will not leave the way they came in they will leave here not the way we entered because the Holy Ghost is here and he will confirm his word hallelujah thank you Jesus that's the gospel that's the gospel Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be blessed, Lord. Be worshipped. Be exalted. Be applauded because you're worthy. Oh, my. Oh, my. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's the gospel of Brother Branham. The reality of this message. The things we read. The things we heard. Now with our eyes. We see them. This message. It's not the work of a man. It's God himself who visited us. Si nous devons rester derrière ce message, if we have to stay behind this message, répétez fidèlement, faithfully repeat, il est toujours là pour confirmer. He will always be there to confirm it. Dieu a pris son serviteur de très loin, God took his server from far, pour venir nous visiter ici. To come visit us here. Pourquoi fermer vos cœurs? Je vous donne des paroles dans vos cœurs, mais vous avez peur d'ouvrir vos bouches et de parler. Repentez-vous, 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 repentez-vous. Action du Saint Esprit. Ne bloquez pas, ne bloquez pas, ne bloquez pas. Ce que vous voyez, ce que vous voyez, ce n'est qu'un petit rien. Attendez, vous-même les jeunes. Donnez-vous, donnez-vous, donnez-vous. À partir même de vous, les gens, je ferai de grandes choses. De grandes choses. Ici, je suis l'éternel. Alléluia. Alléluia. Je crois de tout mon cœur. I believe with all my heart. Vraiment, Dieu nous a visités. That God has visited us. Ne soyons pas des auditeurs oubliés. Let's not be forgetful audience. Que ça nous interpelle tout un chacun. Let it call each one of us. Parce que le Saint Esprit a posé la question. Because the Holy Ghost asked the Et question. Et nous a dit de garder les réponses dans nos cœurs. And He gave the hearts to Mais je crois qu'en son temps d'ici, I believe we'll leave here. Nous ne sortirons pas comme nous sommes. We won't leave the way we entered. Dieu a accordé à chacun. God granted to each one chose ici. something here. Et pour confirmer And to confirm que ce n'est pas l'homme qui a parlé. That it's not a man who spoke. Voyez ici. Le pasteur est déjà parti. You see, the pastor's already Mais gone. Qui agit, si But he's the one working here. Ça. Who's doing this? C'est ça l'évangile de Branham. That's the gospel of Brother Branham. Branham ne nous a pas amené un Dieu mort. Brother Branham didn't give us a dead Mais God. Un Dieu vivant. A living God. Avec des œuvres vivantes. With living works. Praise God. Praise God. Parce que sa parole est vivante. Because his word is living. Amen. Que Dieu nous aide. May God help us. Que Dieu nous aide. Allons incliner nos têtes. We're going to bow our heads. Allons dire un mot de prière. And we'll say a word of prayer. Tendre Père Céleste. Dear Heavenly Father. Nous nous sentons petits. We feel little. Pour cette présence. For this presence. 
bien aimé Père, Father, comme ton prophète disait, like your prophet said, chaque fois qu'un homme de Dieu visite une église, c'est Dieu qui church, visite son peuple. It's God visiting his people. Seigneur, on n'a pas vu les révérends Gédéon Kasonga. We didn't see Reverend Gideon on a vu Kasonga. le Saint-Esprit. We saw the Holy Spirit. Et c'est ce que nous avons besoin. And that's what we need. Que tu puisses bénir son ministère. May you bless his ministry. Bénis ton serviteur. Bless Seigneur. your servant. Laisse que partout là où il passera. Wherever he'll go. Qu'il soit un vase d'honneur. May he be a vessel of honor. Proclamer les oracles du Dieu vivant. Proclaim the oracles of God. Réveiller l'Église et pour. And wake up the bride. Parce que l'heure est très avancée, Seigneur. Because it's getting late. Bénis Seigneur toute son, sa famille. Bless his family. Le diable n'aimerait jamais voir quelqu'un qui s'adore comme ça. The devil never like anybody who gives Alors, himself to like that. Père. So watch over que him. Que le ciel soit, je puisse l'accompagner. May heaven be with him. Oh Dieu bien-aimé. Beloved God. Permet que nous puissions chacun sortir. Allow that each one leave here. A, a, avec ce que nous venons de recevoir. With what we just received. Que l'ennemi soit incapable de nous ravir. May the enemy be unable to take us. Cette bénédiction que nous avons dans ta présence. Le pardon que tu nous as accordé. The forgiveness you've given us. Le Saint Esprit que tu nous as accordé. The Holy Spirit you've given us. Le salut que tu nous as accordé. The salvation you've given us. Les retombées sont revenues à toi. The backsliders have come back to you. Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. Nous pouvons voir. We can see. Ce que nous avons entendu. What we heard. Nous pouvons voir. We can see. Ce que nous avons lu. What we read. Branham, Seigneur. Brother Branham. Oh Dieu. Oh Lord. Il nous a dit la vérité. He told us the truth. Ce n'est pas son message. It's not his message. Parce qu'il est parti. Because he's gone. L'auteur de ce message. But the author of this Il message. Il est toujours présent. Is still present. Pour veiller sur son message. To watch over his message. Notre prière. Our prayer. Garde-nous dans ce message. Keep us in this message. Rends-nous humbles, Seigneur. Keep us humble. Et accomplis encore des oracles. And fulfill your wonders. Que Marc 16. May Mark 16. Soit une réalité, Seigneur. Be a reality. Dans nos vies. In our lives. Bénis tes enfants. Bless his children. Protect each one of us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give everything to you. Follow us home. Continue, Lord, partout où nous serons. Continue, wherever we'll be. Continue, Lord, 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 wherever we'll be. Continue, Merci. Thank you. Nous voulons parler comme Gédéon d'autrefois. We want to speak like Gideon of before. Si l'Éternel, le Dieu de nos pères, est avec nous. If the Lord God of our fathers is miracles? here, where are the miracles? Hebrews 13, 8. Hebrews 13, 8. À l'œuvre. In action. Merci. Thank you. Sois béni. Be blessed. Sois loué. Be worshipped. Sois exalté. Be exalted. Au siècle des siècles. Forever and ever. Dans nos glorieux pays. In the glorious and mighty name. Notre Seigneur et Sauveur Jésus-Christ. Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray and ask. Pour ta gloire. For your glory. Amen. Amen.